Number 8. This is 1969's Lincoln sent in PR69 deep cameo condition. He PR69 is a grading designation. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with PR69 being near the top of the scale. A PR69 coin is in excellent condition, with only minor imperfections. Deep cameo indicates that the coin has a strong contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirrored fields, making the design stand out prominently. This superb gem ended up selling for $759.38 with buyer's fee. Number 7. This is 1920s Mercury Dime struck 20% off center. An awesome error of a tough San Francisco mint issue. Graded in Mint State 64 with full bands by PCGS. According to Legend Rare Coin Auctions, struck 20% off center but retaining the full date and mint mark which collectors love to see. Thick, frosty luster is graced with some honey gold overtones. A faint scratch on the reverse above the E of dime is noted for accuracy. An off-center strike, measuring 10 to 30% is defined as a coin that was struck only partly between the dies and was struck either above or out of the collar. It was sold for $1,468.75. Number 6. This is 1941 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 Plus by NGC. According to NGC, by 1941 prices for the proof sets of 1936 onward were already rising, and the market for these coins was well established. This led to annual increases in sales, as collectors began buying duplicate sets for speculative purposes. As always, many of the proof coins struck were not suitable for sale, and the reject rate ran to nearly 30% in 1941. A total of 21,625 coins was struck, but only 15,000 were delivered to the metals clerk for sale. The survival of gems rises steadily with each advancing year of proof coins for the 1936-42 period, and examples through PF67 are plentiful. Anything above PR68 is considered scarce. It was sold for $2,092.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. This is 1983 Lincoln sent with double die reverse. Graded in mint state 67 plus red by PCGS. A beautiful, superb example of this very popular and dramatic modern double die error. Every letter on the reverse is boldly doubled. The details are fully struck up and the surfaces are smooth and devoid of any issues that would affect the wonderful eye appeal. It fetched a sum of $2,467.50. Number 4. Here is 1953 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. Brilliant silver luster shines boldly on both sides. The slightly smaller planchet cuts off only tiny portions on the legend on both sides. Generally well struck, although there is a touch of weakness in spots where there was not enough metal to fill the dies. An interesting error that is more often seen on later dates. It ended up selling for $2,702.50. Number 3. This is 2005 P. Jefferson Nickel featuring American Bison on reverse. Specially struck with satin finish. Graded in Mint State 70 this coin is absolute numismatic pinnacle in terms of strike, preservation and eye appeal. This is sole finest specimen according to PCGS Census. It was sold for $5,486.62 with buyer's fee. Number 2. This is 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. A very popular date and error type. During the wartime crush of coinage production, a few dime planchets found their way into the bins with the standard steel blanks for the 1943 cents. Their similar brilliant silver colors did not draw attention to them apparently and there are a small number of these known. This one appears to be one of the higher graded pieces. A soft pewter silver gray patina graces both sides, and there is a warm glowing satiny brilliance. The devices are weakly struck, as the dime planchet did not have enough metal to go all the way into the depths of the dies. It was sold for $3,760. Number 1. And this is 1960D Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition. Attractively toned superb gem with CAC approval. According to NGC, despite a very generous mintage, the 1960D Quarter is rare above MS66. The vast majority of mint state coins are heavily bag marked, this term referring to the trading of BU bags that was all the rage in the early 1960s. Such coin dealings were all about quantity over quality, and the coins took a beating with each exchange. 
This superb gem fetched a sum of $20,812.50 with buyer's fee. That's all folks. If you found this information helpful, please make us happy just by hitting like and subscribe buttons below this video. Have a nice day.